What's up everybody, I'm back here with you for the, some more Lies of the Tomb Raider Blood Ties DLC. Oh, where, where were we? The West Wing, I believe. It's been, been about a week since I recorded the first video, first part of this plaything. I think it's in here. Okay. <laughs> Where's Winston when you need him? <laughs> the minutes for housekeeping. This is strangely beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is strangely beautiful. I agree. Seeing nature lead claim everything. Which way should we go first? I go to the lab. Uh, starts what we start to see Dad sealed it soon after she died he probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings what's this my lord we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return as is so often the case with these missives I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Oh, Anna. Um, blue will welcome influence. Yeah. <laughs> About that. I don't think so, somehow. Don't think that'll end up being a welcome influence. Oh, missed. <laughs> I completely missed these set of doors. There we go. Untouched for years, exactly as you left it. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. <laughs> so cool. Oh, I didn't have to end. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favourite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. 
to think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favorite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. Okay, and there's the answer. Blocks of red, Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. So it's that one. From the red blocks. <laughs> simple shapes, now. That's simple enough for me, I think. Anything else to look at? There's some stuff over here. Mum with me as a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. <laughs> oh, there's anything on the back then. No secret message or anything. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mum died too young. What is it? What's... What is it? Is it some drawing or something? Looks like. Something like that. What's up, what's up the ladder? More paintings and stuff. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Uh, what we're looking for inside? No, on the back. Hmm. It says here Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. I don't know. I'm supposed. Are we supposed to know that? Maybe I haven't figured that out yet. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but. All is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy. I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his favorite whiskey tonight. It's calm and peaceful now. Just the gentle sound of the rain and the small, sleeping breaths of this new life I hold in my arms. Lara, Lara Croft, my darling daughter. It's hard to put into words this feeling I have. We share a connection, something I never expected. A love so powerful and pure. Someday you'll feel it too. No matter where you go or where you find your place in this world, we will always have this connection. I'm going, I'm going down. I think that was it. Much miss them. Here, let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. I, I want to play the piano. Ow. Why can't I play it? I've got to go. Go. I've got to go back then. Okay, I'll go back then. I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. Through this door. Okay, just this cabinet. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man. But I am 
utterly consumed. I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. Did he leave the script? <laughs> script of this DLC. Mind you, I suppose if anyone knows what Lara's like, it'd be her own dad. <laughs> Not leaving anything undiscovered. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of Demorne obligations. Free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Rich and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. So cool living that past and all. Past and that. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors, and I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. Maybe she will. At least that old thing still works. <laughs> well, I didn't even think I could open that. Like it was broken. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god Ra, and our days in Egypt where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself thinking about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences, passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. Could you imagine if they had gone with Scarlet or Kate? Scarlet Croft. Kate Croft. Instead of Lara. Or if, it, or if she was turned out to be a boy instead of was Benjamin or Griffin Croft. Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. <laughs> it was. 
What's that? Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. Oh, it's a wedding ring. That's what it was. Yeah, what is it? What am I looking for? The inscription is faded. Oh, that is, yeah, the inscription cosses. Cosses. Can we not make out what it says? My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. The picture. Hmm. Mum, on her wedding day. She looks so beautiful. We've got some down the back. What is it? There's a date. October something. Damn, the number is faded. October... 21, is it? I don't know. Looks like 21 to me. The anniversary was in October. Oh, which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. What was this one? I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. This should help, shouldn't it? October 13th. Mum's birthday. So... The 9th? Or the 8th? Hang on, it was four, four days, wasn't it? Okay, back to the study to open that safe. Okay, I'll look around a bit more though. This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. <laughs> that kind of strange, look strange looking. After everything, Atlas. I think this was Dad's pocket watch. What? Oh, was that? I missed that now. I cut that that off of it. Hope it continues once we go back out of this. Parking lot, what's in it? Uh. Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. Okay. That seems weird. How could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard. But please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas. And then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. It's never an easy load for anybody. Uh, where's this? Of course, it's, it's straight back across. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? <laughs> I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. <laughs> if it's not important, why does it need to be in a safe? <laughs> Perfect kid's answer. If it's not important, why protect it? Okay, found all the clues. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, documents.
for God's sake, memorize the comp combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. So, Lara's treasure, the painting, and the wedding anniversary. Uh, right. Uh, that one? Which one was it? <laughs> what was the gift? I would... So it was... that. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that got to do with... Combination though. I remember, I remember doing, trying to figure this out the first time I played this, and it took me ages. Oh, how do I do this? Clown. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six, eight. Uh, is that the number on it? What, what number is that? I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Hang on, what, what is it then? Remember this now. Each district in ancient One, seven, Egypt had a symbol uh, and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the is. actual number hieroglyphs. Yes, I know. Shut up. I'm trying to figure this out. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six, eight. So it's that. Mm. Alright, so I'm looking for that symbol on the. in the middle on the. yeah. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. So what number is it? Two? Two maybe? I don't know. Two? I don't know. I don't know. Five. It's five, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's five. So that's number five. Uh, paint. Which painting it is, and favorite painting, and then the wedding anniversary. When was that? <laughs> I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. That's four days, twelve, and then nine, isn't it? Five, nine. Um, is it how many blocks is? Is it four? Five nine four. Work. The answer has to be in the clues. Five nine four. No. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Wait, hang on. This isn't a wait. No, that didn't work. 
No. God damn it. Five and a nine. Was it five eight? Wait. Ten? No. No, it's 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 five nine, isn't it? Oh, what is it? It's five five nine. I don't see what it, what it is, but and if paints it all. I don't know. Um. Or um. I, li I like having these kind of puzzles, but I I don't. They're difficult for me to figure out. Probably because I'm not really smart. Um, wait, is that circled? Is that it? Is that supposed to be circled on painting behind? Um, can I just keep putting random numbers in? The answer has to be in the clues. Was it five? Nine? Five, nine? Five? No. No. Nope. has to be in the clues. Three? No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Do you want to give me a hint, Lala? Because I don't know. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say. I... So it says it's the one with blocks of lead. What? What does that mean? Is it the amount of blocks in it? I, I don't know. I'll just keep punching in random numbers until it works. <laughs> no, it didn't Okay, yes, I get it. No. <laughs> oh, what is it? No. 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 Uh, no, that didn't work. The what is it? I would... Um, it's not, it's not like a number on it that I'm missing, is there? That doesn't like um sound like to another number, does it? I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Um none of those look like it. Oh, what's the answer? I'm gonna be, st I'm gonna be stuck here for like for hours with like this, just because I can't figure it out.
I remember this. No, that's... Um, this maybe? I don't know. I'm putting that third. I've got the numbers a long way around, haven't I? <laughs> so what? Five, four, nine. Being the clues. What's that? Five, four, nine. That I'm such an idiot. I am such an idiot. <laughs> Oh my god! I think I did that the first time as well, thinking about it. I bet that's what I did the first Fuck! It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. What's this got to do with. Okay. When's this floating? No. That's not what I'm looking for. You've only looked at one thing. <laughs> I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow waiting for me to find her. Oh God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done, and I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate, a test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now, and then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Uh, is that an elixir of life? Oh, that's... I'm going to assume it doesn't work. <laughs> Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Um, on the back? Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? The last, last thing in safe. Of course it is. Hmm, a blank page. Final puzzle. Yep, that'll be the Dad more ink, won't it? Me. It has to be important. It'll be the fire, won't it? But don't need to. Use the fire again. Is it in here? Where was that fireplace? Oops. A hidden message. Okay, what is it? What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Um, they're the symbols again, aren't they? Where do I need to go? Did I miss? Did I actually miss something? 
Just on the side. Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. Don't remember this letter. I'm sure I wasn't able to read it at the time. Did he like this more for himself than me? Maybe. Maybe he did. Wait, where am I going? No, I've just been in there. Wait, where that is? To my left. Or back in the office. Right. Wait, is it in this office or. No, it's down there. Of course it is. Wait, what do I. I've already learned it, haven't I? I'm missing something else. I'm missing something on here, maybe. <laughs> hey, I've never noticed that actually swivels in. This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. <laughs> Spent so many hours in here reading, dreaming of my own adventures. Oh no, I need to go... Where's that? Is that down here somewhere? Yes. How oh, do I need to go down? Do I need to go back down into the... Um, yeah, where do, I, where do I find that again? <laughs> I don't know where I want to go. And where's the... Like that's sort of veal. Hidden message. Wait, is this is this a map of the manor? Maybe. So do one of those move? Does something move? Maybe it's one of the ladders or something in the library. You moving it reveals something? I don't know. But is it yet? Yeah. Wait, where am I going? Oh! 
in here. This way. Yes, this is it. Down here. I've already been through here once, I think. I think. Have I? Oh, it's one of these that moves. Maybe. Is it going to tell me? Let me just have a look again. Or is there something else? Is there something else in the final puzzle? Because there's another document I need to find. Is that land here somewhere? Oh, no, this is it. No, there's something move. Oh, clap. What's that then? A hidden message. Um. Is this another? Is this another code? Another um that needs to translate from the hieroglyphs. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a a hidden message. Yeah, I know. It's a hidden message. Um. These, yeah, it'd be three numbers, so they they kind of. Uh, it's three different pictures of it, but they've maybe faded, so they look like nine separate, not symbols. Right. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Oh, what does it look like? I think one's a four. There's a four something two. I think. A hidden message. Something for two. A hidden message. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number. One four two. Yes! Yes, I got it! Damn, locked in. Uh oh. Let's find another way out then. What the hell is this place? Did Dad build all of this just to keep his research safe? How the hell does all this lighting work? Still. Oh, damn. How the hell do you keep all this stuff a secret? The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important, and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. 
I need a secure place to keep it all safe. It's too... There's people watching. That's Trinity, isn't it? That's Trinity watching this place. The missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. Is that what, what we need? A clip? Something in the clip? Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. Well, I can't leave Tibetan, so. It won't, it won't need to worry about me finding out what it says. My love. It is silent. So peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more. That I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. <laughs> there is so much to say, but I'm tired. <sighs> the sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon, and likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared. Richard, what lies beyond? You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on in her. That's such a nice message. Death alone. She was so brave. Yeah, she was. I can only get that. I can see that just from leaving the letter. That she's like, oh. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? What's this? Oh, I need a crowbar. <laughs> I need a crowbar so I can just smash a hole in the wall. What's in here? What's this? I might be able to use this to access other parts of the manor. There you go, got a crowbar. What's that? Oh, what the heck? Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. What the heck? Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish, because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have chucked the life from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. 
Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. Damn, tell him how you really feel, Atlas. <laughs> It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs, then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed, there is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, I imagined that my life was being drawn from me as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead. And I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. In that clip, it was kept secret then. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. I'm sure you will, Lara. I'm sure you will. I'm not missing anything else with this light. Anything? There's one other lighting on here that I don't think there's anything else. Just smash a hole in the wall. Am I, am I back? Of course, I can open this now, can't I? Yes. Now I've got a crowbar. Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. I don't remember lighting this. I don't remember being bored in school, though. <laughs> you and me both. Not learning anything in school. Am I going up? Oh, the ladder, I'm assuming. Wait, I'm back in... Oh, back in the study. Library area. I need... Uh, yeah, it is this way. There's a compass here. What was it? Past, past the north thing, wasn't it? There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. So knowledge to the east. Let's back to the west. And um, future to the south. God, I don't don't find his future and the past is north. Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west, our future. 
just said that. So it's this way. This is the hidden clip. This is where we're going to find Amelia. I didn't know. I thought there might be something tucked in there that I could lead or look at. a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we return to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. Indeed, once the last of my funereal duties were performed, I fully believed that I would crumple to the ground next to her and expire, not from grief, but succumbing to the terrible exhaustion of the last few weeks. Instead, as the mausoleum stone slid into place, I felt a sort of peace and energy. One that I confess caught me entirely off guard. This was not the terminus of our story, and I was a fool to think so. Her body may be gone, but her spirit still resides here, in the manor, in me, in Lara. Her soul is forever twined with mine, and death is just a momentary interruption. I walked out of that cold quiet into a sunlight that burned my eyes, and I have never been more sure. Death is not the end, and there is work yet to do. Okay, someone's making noise outside. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. My dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love, it's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother. Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Croft Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor. 
that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again.